How to make it rain in Blender. Easy. You need to open Blender, clear all, then add a plane. A surface to catch the rain. And we also need another plane to emit the rain droplets. So shift D to make a copy of the plane, then move it up over the original one. Now, we need to select the emitter, then add on it a particle system. Leave it on emitter type, and things should go like this. Once you play animation, the particle number can stay on default, and you can match the frame end here with the frame end in the timeline. In the render tab, we can make the particle appear as an object. So let's add an ICO sphere, make it low poly, then switch the render as to object, and assign the sphere as an instance. Spike the scale randomness to 0.8 or even up to 1, then scale the particles cause they still huge for rain. We don't need the upper plane to appear so uncheck the show emitter from both the render and the viewport. For the ripples effect, we need the dynamic paint for both planes. The emitter will work as a brush with its particle system, so add a dynamic paint to it, set it as a brush, then assign the particle system in it as paint. It just mean the particle will affect the bottom plane once we assign it as a dynamic paint canvas. So you have canvas and brush, one receiving and one emitting. The bottom plane needs subdivision, cause it need to react to the small particles hitting it. So add a lot of subs in edit mode, then proceed to add the dynamic paint on it and leave it as canvas. Once you set the type to waves for the ripples, things will go like this in animation, which is hard, but we can tune it down by shade smooth the plane, then controlling the radius value for the waves. We can also go back to the brush settings in the emitter plane, check the use particle radius, so the ripple effect match the droplet size, then replay with the waves radius again if needed. From here on, you can set up the environment with HDRI if you want, add a glossy shader to the bottom plane, add a glass node to the sphere we have as a droplets, and make sure to enable motion blur to make it look like rain, and the rest are for you to explore with the rain speed, the wave spread, they all in the canvas and brush settings so you can play with it, or even add a force field to make it fun. And that's it. Do like and sub for more dope, and see you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.